हाई गायस आई एम ओकोटो हर्षवर्धन प्रोडक्ट डिजाइनर एट रोबो किड्स एट जुवेंचर प्राइवेट लिमिटेड पुणे सो टुडे वी आर अनबॉक्सिंग ए न्यू प्रोडक्ट फ्रॉम क्रियालिटी कॉल्ड सोनिक पैड सो वील टेस्ट इट ओपन इट वील हैव प्रॉपर रिव्यू ऑन द प्रोडक्ट एंड वील डिस्कस अबाउट द बेनिफिट्स ऑफ द सोनिक पैड सो लेट स्टार्ट विद द अनबॉक्सिंग लेट्स अनबॉक्स क्रियालिटी सोनिक पैड So here is our uh, main reality sonic pad. Documentation user manual. So on the top you have a cable for G sensor and the adapter to power up your sonic pad. And you have a USB uh, type B cable. to connect with the 3d printer and you have a little small uh, zip bag with uh, a flash drive and a set of screws and a g sensor and uh, two adapters for the cable so they also given a few extensions for the adapters uh, based on your country socket uh, style so you get with the 7 inch display touch display on the left side you have your uh, uh, usb in two usb in on the right you have indication for the power and the power switch on the top no nothing on the bottom you have a little rubber grip on the back you have uh, dc jack in power in and two extra usb ports one lan port and sensor input and two these two holes are for resetting your device and you have a proper uh, good plastic wala feel with the creality uh, sonic pad and you have a legs to uh, mount it on the table at an angle Let us connect the Sonic Pad and turn it on. To couple the Sonic Pad with the printer, uh, here today we are using Creality Ender 3 V1, uh, where it has a Atmega 1284P uh, controller. And uh, let's see how to take uh, control of the printer. To connect the Sonic Pad, we need the adapter which was given with the Sonic Pad and the extension and the ca data cable. and uh, adapter for micro to mini let us connect and see the further process first take the power adapter and connect to the adapter and plug the adapter to the socket so don't switch it on plug the dc jack to the sonic pad and take the data cable take the uh, extension and connect it to the cable and connect the one end to the printer and another end to the sonic pad so connections are done let's see the powering on before you power your sonic pad uh, on make sure that the printer is in off uh, and now power your uh, adapter and you have the provision to power it on so wait until the ui get booted so first thing select the language now it asks for the policies uh, tick mark and click next so it asks for the region india next 
so it asks for the Wi-Fi. Uh, for the first time, I need to skip it off, and it is asked for the Sonic Pad name. You can give whatever you want. Next, now it shows the all the Creality's printers based on the series. These are Inder and CR series, Inder 3 series. So search for your printer. So with the uh, controller. So here is my printer, Inder 3 Pro, where it has a controller of Atmega 128P. 4p select that and click on next next so make sure that your bolt is uh, updated with the bootloader and go for the next step check the connection once again and click on next wait until the flash is uh, booted into your controller Yeah, it was booted successfully and now you can uh, turn on your printer and click next. So it shows the details of your printer. Start. So you can see that the f you can control all the fans and uh, temperatures of the printer. Now it's uh, the front feed uh, fan is running. Next next step so the nozzle fan is now running next step so auto home now you can uh, level your bed according to the instructions given here so if you click on the point one it moves to the point 1 if you click on point 2 it was relocated to the point 2 click on point 3 click on point 4 So as I level my bed previously, I am just skipping off this next. So all set done. So you can take control of the printer through Sonic Pad. Yeah, this is the UI looks this way. So you can monitor the temperatures of the hot end and the bed layer. Here is your current temperature and the targeted temperature and these are the options. This is to move your uh, XYZ axis, preheat settings, controls, config and print. So in move, you can move your uh, XYZ axis manually or you can do auto home. So I am going back. So next is preheat. So you can specify the preheat settings like for the PLA and PETG or you can give manually and these are the preheat settings. Next is control. In control you can control the extruder, fan, temperatures and uh, motors you, you can disable the motors and in configuration you get uh, manual bed leveling if you have a probe you can do auto bed leveling network settings local information move parameters you can add a webcam so that you can record your time lapse of your print other settings 
and in print where you print your uh, model. Let us see the printing process using the Sonic Pad. Uh, let, let us connect the flash drive which was given with the Sonic Pad. Go to print. So search for the file. Here is my Z code. Click on that. It shows the file parameters and data. Click on print. That's how. Uh, that's all done. Uh, it started printing. So you can see the temperatures of the bed and hot end are being increased. This was the video about unboxing of Sonic Pad, connecting to a 3D printer and printing a sample. And in, in our future videos, we will explore more about the Sonic Pad. Hope you enjoyed the video. Like, share, subscribe. Thanks for watching.